fleeing through the hills and into northern Albania. Many clearly frightened after the shelling and the fighting. Such scenes are an immediate challenge to the international community, desperate to avoid an escalating conflict. In the Commons, the Prime Minister vowed the West would act to contain the crisis. We are watching the situation in Kosovo extremely carefully. We believe we cannot afford to have an extension of violence and disorder there. The implications of disorder in that part of the world would have a huge impact on all of us, including this country. So now the possibility is of NATO sending troops to the region around Kosovo, a province of Serbia. They wouldn't intervene directly, but might help secure the borders of neighboring Albania and Macedonia. Two states with large ethnic Albanian populations that could become embroiled in the conflict. NATO forces in Bosnia are judged to have had a crucial role in keeping the peace. But around Kosovo, if they are sent, it would be far more limited, merely seeking to prevent the spread of the fighting. But while such military options are still under review tonight, the diplomatic pressure remains firmly on the Serbian president, Slobodan Milosevic. The foreign secretary, Robin Cook, is demanding he stop the killing and immediately renew a dialogue with Kosovo's ethnic Albanians. Robert Moore, News at 10, at the Foreign Office. There were emotional scenes outside a Sussex court today when Billy Joe...